This is Jay Teaches Reading for All, Lesson 19, the letter T. Let's review the sounds of the letters. Short A, A, apple, N, N, nut, B, B, bat, C, K, cap, D, D, donut, E, E, egg, F, Flag G G gun H H house I I Indian J J jet K K kite L L lamp M mountain N N nut O Two sounds A octopus O ostrich P P pig Q Qu quarter R R rake S Two sounds S snake or z zipper. And next, of course, is the letter T, which we'll be getting to. All right. We're going to now review the words beginning in lesson 17. And there are a bunch of them in lesson 17. Because... Well, I guess not that many. I'm thinking of Lesson 18. Okay, Lesson 17, the R lesson. And students say these words before I do. R-ack, rack. R-ock, rock. R ick rick R ag rag R am ram R an ran R app rap Red, red, ref, ref, rod, 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 boy's name, on. Ron, boy's name. Rob, Rob. Rib, Rib. Rid, Rid. Rig, rig, rim, rim, rip, rip. All right, if you'd like to, parents, teachers, tutors, you can uh, click the pause button and let the students read these or some of these again to you. Now we'll review the words in lesson 18. This is the one I was thinking 
um, had so many words because we've got two sounds for S. The first group of words is going to have the S sound for S. And let's cover up the Z sound for S words for now. All right, students, first one. Sam, Sam. Sad, sad. Sell, sell. Sad, sad. Sid, Sid. Sal, Sal. Sock, Sock. Sick, Sick. Sack, Sack. Sip, Sip. In sin. Sill, sill. Sis, sis. Is hiss. Mm, is miss. Ross, Ross, B, Ross, Boss, O, S, Less, M, S, Mess, J, S, Jess, B S Bess. Okay, and of course those rhyme less, mess, Jess, Bess. Now S words that sound like Z. And all of these are going to have let's see. Can't use that. All of these are going to have the S at the end. So that's kind of a tip off that sometimes when S is at the end, or most often when S is at the end of a word, it's going to sound like a Z. First one is, is, is. His dogs, dogs, hogs, hogs, logs, logs, jogs, jogs, and we have rhyming words dogs. Hogs, logs, jogs. Next line. B eggs, begs. P eggs, pigs. D eggs, digs. Igs, figs. Rigs, rigs. And there's some rhyming words. Pigs, digs, figs, rigs. Next. Lids, lids. 
Kids. Kids. B -id -z bids. Next line. Well, I guess I should have pointed out that we've got uh, several rhyming words here. We've got lids and kids and bids. And we're going to have four rhyming words starting with this one. J abs jabs g abs gabs n abs nabs k abs cabs so we had the four Rhyming words, jabs, gabs, nabs, cabs. And we'll finish out with three rhyming words. R-ags, rags. S-ags, sags. Ags, bags. So we have the rhyming words rags, sags, bags. Now we're going to, well, before I do that, um, teachers, you may want to press pause again and have students go over these words or some of these words um, that they need extra practice with. So Press pause if you want to do that. Now we're going to go over the true and false, a review. And again, as a, just as a reminder, I'm sure you know about this, that um, you don't have to worry about the students telling you true or false just have them read it and I've introduced the word the they may need a reminder on that word so you may have to uh, give them an extra help on that I don't know press pause And here are the true and false for Lesson 17. Press pause. Now we go to Lesson 19. And Lesson 19 has uh, the T, T, top, and, well, I'm going to be put on the spot here because I did not draw a top, and um, you know how good an artist I am, so this is really going to be a challenge, but anyway, there's the top of the top, which you can spin, This is going to wind up probably looking like an acorn or something, which I don't want. Okay, so that's supposed to be a top, and hopefully the student has seen a top. You spin it, and it hopefully will stay spinning for a while. It's kind of neat uh, play toy for young people. And to make the T, pretty easy, just a straight line down and a line across the top. Um, then the small T, uh, you start it lower than the top line 
but higher than the middle line if you've got a page with three lines and straight line down and then not across the top but across it's a little higher than the middle probably should be a little higher than I put it actually here but the sound of T of course is t top and I'd like the students to say that sound after each practice until you're sure they know the t sound press pause those of you who are doing uh, printing practice All right, now we're going to do the words, and I'm, I'm going to just go through these words uh, quickly. Tom, Todd, Tess, Ted, all names of boys or girls. Tell, Top, Toss, Tot. A tot um, is, is a little child. It's kind of a nickname for a little child. It can mean other things, but mainly that. Hot, lot, not, cot, rot. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rhyming words there. Tot, hot, lot, not, cot, rot. Now we've got a few more rhyming words. Bat, sat, fat, mat, rat, cat, hat. So we got, uh, what, five, six, seven rhyming words. And here's some more. The next four are rhyming. Get, net, set, pet. And... The next, uh, well, the rest of the words are rhyming. Fit, hit, bit, pit, sit, mit, lit. And teachers of younger students, you may need to explain some of these. I only explained one, but you may need to explain a lot more than that. Um, which I'm sure you can handle. So, um, press pause and have the students read these new words to you. All right, now is the practice printing and saying the new words. And I've underlined um, five of them. I've underlined Ted, top, rat, get, and sit, so that I included um, vowels of the A, the E, the I, and the O, and we haven't gotten to the U yet, so we will soon, but haven't yet. Um, so if you want to, and I would recommend, only using those five, have the students uh, print those. You may need dot to dot, of course, and then say them um, one to three times, your judgment. Press pause. Okay, now we're going to do the spelling test. And these T words, if you were to do all of these T words and you're doing cutouts, um, I counted 23 uh, letters that you'd have to pull out. Um, <clears throat> of course, capital T for any names. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, two small T's, two small D's, two small L's, and a whole bunch of other letters. Of course, if you're only using these five that I've underlined, or maybe you want to pick out five, fine. Um, you don't have to use as many. So, press pause for the spelling test. All right, now we're going to do the true and false. Have the students read each sentence twice and give you their final true and false answer after the second time. 
course, the first time they read it silently, remember, and secondly, they read it out loud. Press pause. Okay, my answers. Number one, the cat in the hat bit the fat rat. Now, the cat in the hat is a cat in a children's book written by Dr. Seuss. The very young student may not know that. So if you have a student who does know that, then they'll probably know that even though the cat in the hat does crazy, crazy things, it doesn't bite. So the answer would be false. But for those that don't know, they know cats bite rats. And so they would put true. So it could go either way. Number two, Tess fell in a pit and had a fit. Well, I'd put true if I fell in a pit. I'd probably have a fit as well, especially if I couldn't get out easily. Number three, the pet rock licks the hot mess. Now, pet rocks are still rocks. They're not pet animals, so they can't do any licking. The answer is false. Number four, the boss can tell Tom and Ted the fib. Sure, he can do that. I would definitely put true for that one. Well, the next lesson is lesson 20, and that's the U. Uh, U is our last main vowel. We're going to have another letter that could be a vowel sometimes, but A, E, I, O, U are the five main vowels. And the sound we're going to use is the uh sound, umbrella. Um, and it's interesting uh, because the uh sound can be a sound used by all the other vowels at different times. It's possible. Also, the U long sounds, we're going to find out later, there are two long sounds. U as in cute, like the cute baby, or U as in moon. So the U is, is uh, really a very interesting letter. And see you all in lesson 20. Bye for now.